In this session, we are discussing Kabita Sinha and her poem, Eve Speaks to God. Before we discuss the poem, let us know about Kabita Sinha. Kabita Sinha, a Bengali poet, novelist, feminist, and a radio director. She is always noted for her modernist stance, rejecting traditional household role for Bengali women, a theme which echoed in almost all her works, including uh, poets like Mallika Sen Gupta and Taslima Nasri. Kabita Sinha was born on the 16th October 1931 to Shailendra Sinha and Annapurna Sinha in Kolkata. She started writing as a child in 1951 while uh, she was a student of botany at the Presidency College, Calcutta. Later, she married an author and editor, Bimal Roy Chaudhary. She married Bimal Roy Chaudhary against her parents' wishes. A rebellious spirit, she was involved in dissidence movements in the 1950s. She was the prime force in addressing women's dissident at a time when Nehruvian politics was taking hold of the country. Kabita Sinha is primarily uh, regarded as a feminist, focusing on the issues of women's identity in the contemporary scenario. Bengali women's passage to the realm of poetry began with the medieval poet Khanna, whose fame so irritated to her husband and father-in-law that they severed her tongue to an attempt to silence her. Since then, times have changed, but refusal to be silenced, the determination to represent the woman's viewpoint can still be traced in the texts of post colonial Bengali women poets. Kabita Sinha's uh, forthright protest, her anger against the patriarchal perceptions contributed to a certain extent to her marginalization in uh, the patriarchal milieu of the Bengali literature of her times. The prescribed poem Eve Speaks to God, Ishwar K. Eve, is a poem from Kabita Sinha's well-known uh, collection, Kabita Parameshwari. The present poem is the gendered subaltern's reaction to patriarchal hegemony. She talks back. In this, her most representative poem, Kabita turned to the popular feminist device of revisionist, the representation of a familiar story or myth from a woman's perspective. The present poem, Eve Speaks to God, she retells the story of the biblical figure, Eve. Uh, the poem offers a fresh new perspective to her, where she emerges as a strong and intellectual uh, woman who refuses to blindly surrender to the patriarchal principles. The poem can be seen as a voice to the famous mythical woman, one who is said to cause the fall of man.
Kabita's Eve is a rebellious figure. Eve is portrayed as an intelligent woman, curious enough to investigate and bold enough to take risks. She refuses to be shackled into any cage, be it golden or otherwise. The refrain in the poem, I was first to know, shows her sense of pride and protest. In the poem, she opensly employing the superiority to meek Adam and challenging an authoritarian patriarchal God. She is very intelligent. She is very curious. She is curious enough to investigate. And she is bold enough to take risks. She is a person who wants to know rather than living in a blissful ignorance. She accepts that challenge. She doesn't want to follow the patriarchal structures that shackles her. She is bold enough to talk back. In the poem, Eve, uh, she is not merely a biblical figure, but she also represents the feminist preferences for a real painful living outside the golden cage, which is created for women by the patriarchal authority. It can also be seen as a voice of the women poets who are exiled because of her wish to refuse to blindly surrender to the patriarchal strictures, but is proudly exultant rather than regretful. In the poem, Eve stands like a proud Eve of Kabita Sinha's poem, Ishwaki Eve, who asserts that she was the first to break the shackles. And she is very proud of that. It means she was the first on earth to rebel against the God, to rebel against the patriarchal rules, principles. As the first in the tradition of awkward, awakened women who dares to transcend the inviolate and inviolable boundaries to reach personhood. In the tradition itself, she is the first one she is the first woman who is awakened, who dares to transcend, who dares to cross the boundaries. That is Eve. The refrain that I am the first highlights that Eve was the first to gain knowledge. And she is very happy that she has introduced happy and sorrow, to pain and pleasure to the world. She stands for women who have already been empowered by their knowledge. To understand that the glided cage represented to them is still a cage. Poem, Eve says that she was first to know that if there is life, then there shall be death. 
She was the one who knew what is meant by happiness and sorrow. She was the one to understand light and darkness. She's proud that she was her, it was her who took the first bite of the forbidden fruit and the first to gain knowledge. She was the one who understood what shame was and thus established modesty by raising a fig leaf to cover her. She further states that it is her who discovered the first pleasures the body could offer and also the first to experience pain in the act of giving birth. Towards the end of the poem, Eve states that, I was first to break the golden shackles of luxurious pleasure. She is defining her action by stating that even though even thought it was golden and luxurious, the Garden of Eden was nothing but a jail. By making her own choice, she becomes the first rebellion God has ever seen. And thus, she is first to be punished by him. However, she states that she has no regrets for her actions as they have taught her that a human life on earth is better than that of a lifeless paradise. Kavita Sinha portrays Eve as a woman strong enough to face the consequences of her own actions. She, in fact, she says that what God considered a punishment for Eve actually turned out to be the best boon she could have asked for. Here, revisionist writing has provided Kabita Sinha a chance to give the infamous Eve a chance to tell the world the tale from her side.